is a great time to go look at Park City Real Estate, and I got one of the pros up there. I got Tom Peak here, and Tom, this is an incredible property. Tell me a little about this. This home is uh, in the colony um, on Another World Ski Run, so direct ski in, ski out off Another World and Rhapsody, designed by Peter Penoyer, famous New York City architect. There's a lot of classic homes. You'll see that this is more of a classic than what you'd expect in Park City, maybe. Yeah, and so tell me exactly where in Park City this one's located. This one is in the colony. The colony is in the area where the canyons and the Park City Mountain Resort combine to create the largest ski area. Yeah. And it's right in the middle, so yeah. it's accessible to both sides. But those just recently combined, and so now this is a really a big deal now. Right? Yeah, it's Vale's new big, the, the, the cherry on the top of the cake. Yeah, okay, good. So obviously this thing is, they put a lot of money into it, a lot of detail work. Tell me a little bit about the things that they were thinking as they were putting this home together. Well, what you'll notice uh, in here is all the paneling. The walls are all paneled ceilings, coffered ceilings. All of that is white oak. So where you see, normally you wouldn't expect someone to use white oak and then paint over it as they have throughout this home. And then it's all done in ferro and ball paint, which is... Uh, very expensive yeah. finishes. As it should be, but it, it really stands out. It's absolutely beautiful. It does. Classic kitchen. Uh, it connects to a two-bedroom apartment that is off of the kitchen with a separate entry for a nanny or a mother-in-law or guests. Yeah, I love all that lighting. They did a really nice job. Just It's really clean and very bright. It you is. Know, but, but, but it's not over the top bright, you know, like, like the classic white. It just, it's bringing in kind of more of the warms and bright somehow. Yeah, it's there's a lot inviting. of outside light. In the wintertime with the snow out there, it's really exceptional. It's, uh, as you can see, just a lot of light. This was shot in the afternoon. So uh, you can see the light coming in from a little bit more of the west side of the home. But it's all of the, the, the best finishes that you could imagine in a classic home like this. Huh. Now, it's obviously, uh, beautifully detailed with all this furniture and stuff. Is this going to be included in the sale or is this going to be personal property? This would be included in the sale. The plan was uh, to set the home up uh, the way it should be and uh, and they'll move on to their next home and, and furnish it the way they'd like to furnish that home. Yeah, and that's appropriate because the, you can't take this style of furniture and really probably make it work in another house. So that, that's great. So let's talk about price on this. What are we looking at? This is six million nine ninety five which is a, uh, a, a price that is probably the lowest per square foot in the colony. And this is a home that is probably one of the highest per square foot to construct. Uh -huh. Just because of all every all the paneling we're looking at here is all the, the, uh, the white oak and throughout the whole home. So yeah, yeah, this is then would be considered a value then? Yes, it would be considered a value. It would be uh, relative to the market there for sure. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it looks like we're heading upstairs here. What are we going to see up there? Well, once you get upstairs, there's a really fun big, uh, right here, as you would enter here, is a big uh, bunk room. It's in the, the coolest color of blue. It's kind of a powdery sky blue and uh, just, just a gorgeous room. Kids would love that, as you can imagine. It's got two bathrooms that come off of it. So the boys and girls each have their own bathroom. And um, as you see here, Great view off to the north. Yeah, you can see all those beautiful trees out right. there. They're yeah. just nestled right it, in it there. It is right in the trees. It is right in the trees with two runs, ski runs on either side, and also the Mid-Mountain Trail, which is a famous, one of our Mountain Trails Foundation, big epic trails in Park City. Wow, they really put it in on this home. And so, uh, gosh, what so all the decorating and everything is all involved in this. What are we looking at here? This is a little office, kind of a TV den. If you look at the walls, that's the clear oak that was used everywhere in the house. Now everywhere else it would have been painted. So you can see how beautiful it is. It was yeah. just, it was actually waxed in that room. So uh, beautiful job there. This is all the master level, that little den, the office, the master bedroom, his and hers bathrooms is all on the master level of the home. That's a great spot to sit and watch the sunset. Sun rises on that side also. It's beautiful. So is this the master suite? Then? This is the master suite. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Very large also, a lot of elbow room in there. That's his bath and her bath. 
This was built by uh, Charlie and Mary Windsor, who are locally Park City famous. Charlie was responsible for the construction of a lot of the venues for the Olympics, uh -huh. but built this and, and uh, really, you know, you can just see the, the level of detail. He's very proud of this home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something to be proud of. He really, he did a spectacular job here. And so I assume this is going to be one of the guest suites here. This is. This is actually in the in the uh, uh, the two bedroom apartment that's adjacent. It's got that great window bed with a great view. Uh, this is going down to the ski room, a couple of wine lockers. So this is the ski room directly out there is where you ski in and out. You just click on your skis right outside that door and off you go. And off you go. And you come in, click them off, and you're home. Yeah, that's great. So Tom, this is absolutely spectacular, and I just love that. Yeah, we got a couple shots here of what it would look like as you're flying by and looking at the winter. If somebody wanted to contact you and wanted more information about this, how would they reach you? Well, you'd contact us, Tom Peake and Kevin Murray, at 435-645-5811 or Tom at TomPeakParkCity.com.